My name is Roger Ware. Uh, I'm a freelance journalist, semi-retired now. Been in the media business for probably 50 years and uh, have experience across a, a broad range of, of genres in the media. My name is Tarak Dashlu. I'm writer, journalist and art director of the Invisible Line Gallery. My name is Joseph Kent. I'm a freelance journalist and a street style photographer. I have a fashion blog which I produce content for on a daily basis. I think what motivates uh, any journalist is the desire to uh, tell people something that they don't know and also it's a great outlet for, for creativity. If you're a creative person, it's a terrific way of expressing yourself. There are certain aspects of my life that definitely are motivated by sustaining myself, but I think I've tried to choose what I do based on what um, what inspires me. I just really enjoy writing and I love it when I know when people have been reading my articles or features on my blog and they're commenting on it on Twitter or on the blog itself. It just makes me feel quite good about, you know, I can write and people do enjoy reading what I write. Copyright means protecting my intellectual property. I've written this article, I've taken this photo, it's on my website or wherever, and it's mine. But sometimes I'll want a picture of a, a famous footballer and uh, I have to hunt around and try to find one that's clear of any rights issues. And if it's not, uh, I have to simply put in a, a generic picture instead. If you are sharing something and gaining money from it, then maybe you should find out um, who made it so that you can pay them. But I do believe that if we put ourselves in too many boxes with copyrights and trademarks and everything, that'll stifle creativity. Currently I do use other people's work um, but for the website and specifically for that, um, but I always make sure that uh, if something's been written for us and maybe a, a, a local site would also like to pick it up, I make sure that whoever's written it is willing to do that. Perhaps when I read some of my stuff from my younger days, um, there was more of a clear influence from whoever I was reading, which is very natural. But I think more and more I've developed my own voice. I never take someone else's work unless it is within the context of what I'm writing. And if I do take anyone else's content, I will be asking for their permission and once I have that permission, then it, obviously it's all right for me to use that content. Sometimes it's flattering. Uh, other bloggers ask to use my content and they say they'll credit me. I'm happy to give it to them because they're not giving me any money. But there have been occasions where someone has taken my content without my permission, they haven't notified me, and it's within a commercial context, and that obviously makes me furious. If it's for your personal use, you should try your best to give credit to the artist or the writer. And if it's for a commercial purpose, then you are obliged to find out and compensate whoever, um, whoever's work you're using. I have no objection to other people using my work, so long as they ask specifically uh, to use that piece of work, and as long as I'm willing for them to have it. I think it would, it would come down to the terminology that was being used uh, by the person who was either being inspired or copying it. Uh, if there was too much of it which was exactly the same wording, for example, or, or anything like that, then that does cross the line. I think we are constantly inspired from each other, from history, from... So I don't think originality is so um, solitary. When you read an article, you might be inspired to write something along similar lines. Um, you might want to do a follow-up article or do your own research. That's inspiration. But when you're literally copying an article verbatim, word for word, or you're taking someone else's ideas and not crediting them and pretending they're, they're your own, well, that's copying. So what if your whatever you're doing gets um, copied in a different country and their laws are not like the country you're from. You can't really do anything, can you? If someone uses my content without my permission, how do I resolve this copyright issue if I don't have the money to pay for legal aid? Somebody runs onto the pitch, strikes a player, there's a demonstration in the crowd. Where is the line between the sports rights for that event 
and people being able to use it freely as a news event.